Listen, here's a fella. I have to get out here fast, because if I don't, the, the uh, stagehands backstage will hear, hear ten jokes that we'll miss. The king of the one-liners, ladies and gentlemen, Henny Youngman. Oh, yeah. You haven't said a thing yet. You walk out and everybody starts laughing. What that's, is that? It's a wonderful show. Your only oh. butler takes my hat and coat when I walk in. Downstairs. He didn't take nothing. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. I What's was at the Wells Fair today. <laughs> Where are you? Wonderful. No traffic, no crowd. Good. <laughs> What'd you see? <laughs> I loved it there. It was yeah, wonderful. Yeah. Henny, you look good. I, I saw you good. on Jackie Gleason. Oh, did it? Yeah, you called my secretary and left a message watching me on Jackie Gleason. Well, I wanted you to see uh, Flip, oh, I thought you, I thought Flipper you were against my Flipper. Name. Oh, Flipper against Flipper. That's very funny. He's like my little grandson, Larry. You know, he's very heavy. So he says to his stomach the other day, I'm fed up with you. The kid says this, you know. Yeah. They're both. His stomach has no memory to scare him. It's murderous <laughs> what's going on with the kids, the way they eat nowadays, you know. And uh, see, I'm glad to see you again. You I'm glad good. to see you again there, Henny. You're looking fine. Well, Are you writing a book? Yes. Oh. <laughs> What'd you call it? 400 traveling salesman's jokes for 400 farmers' daughters. <laughs> What's it about? Oh, about 400 jokes. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's about different stunts I've done during my lifetime and yeah. the crazy things we used to do when we were kids. Frank, you might remember this. I was playing the... Can I tell one? Is sure. Right? I was playing the Paramount Theater once. once. Get the scissors ready. Paramount Theater. And the rehearsal was 6 in the morning. You know that. So I go over to Paramount and the band hasn't arrived yet. So I see Les Brown, a friend of mine, is up at the Capitol. So I walk up with all my stuff to the Capitol Theater. Les Brown isn't there, but his leader is. So I hand my music out. They played my whole act. I said, thanks, fellas. I want to hear my new arrangements. And I went back to the other theater. <laughs> Come on, tell us some more. What else did you Just do? Just like you. <laughs> I pulled a stunt on Max at the stage delicatessen once. I went to the Carnegie delicatessen. I bought a quarter of a pound of corned beef. Had it wrapped. Put it in my pocket. <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you like. Uh, had a quarter of a pound of uh, corned beef wrapped up. Took it down to the stage delicatessen. Ordered. <laughs> a, 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 a corned beef sandwich there put the meat from here and there at a sandwich this high now Max walks over I said you're finally giving a good sandwich <laughs> <laughs> he walked up and fired three countermen <laughs> Henny when are we ever going to meet your wife how can she stand you do all those terrible jokes well, about her I take my wife everywhere but she finds her way home oh <laughs> How do you do that? She's a lovely lady. Took her to the racetrack the other day. Where else can you take a nag? <laughs> Here they come. Oh, I'm How's tired. her mud pack? Oh, okay. she's wonderful, really. My wife, really. I was such a well, beauty. It's about time you said that. Yeah, I struck oil hit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying a new hair tonic called Stay Bald. <laughs> Who in the first place ever started those wife jokes? I think Socrates. Socrates. He wasn't married. I know it. That's why he started it. Oh. No, but they, they seem to work out all over the country. People like them. I mean, you know, people like to hear about their wives and uh, the way they put the makeup on and so forth. And yeah. that's, uh, it's one of those things, you know. Be funny if your wife ends up with her own show? She, well, she winds up with my money. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> she a big spender? Yeah, no, she's pretty fast. She's yeah. pretty good. I mean, I, I don't worry about money. I'm uh, the tax department. I don't worry about it. I'm paid up to 1951. <laughs> no wonder they can't finish this town. This town is fantastic, really. What do you think of the election? Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I don't vote myself. <laughs> Why? Guy walks in the election, pulls down three levers. What do you think he got? What? Three lemons. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't believe. I don't believe in elections. I really don't. I, yeah. I just don't believe in politicians anymore. I just. Oh, you must. I don't believe in it, honest. Don't get that way, Henny. Well, I got to. The smile just left your face. No, I really. I don't believe in politics. Why? And uh, I do believe in religion. I think that we should have a little more fun of religion. You know, I was on a. A little more fun in, in religion. religion. Yeah, I like to see people happier when you walk in a church or a synagogue. I like to see the people a little happier. Everybody looks so sad, and I know they have things to worry about. Somewhere along the line. I was, uh, I went out to Omaha to play a, a job the other night, and I met a lovely priest, Father Kester, a wonderful guy, and he started telling me jokes, and he told me a cute joke about the Pope. Now, I don't want to insult anybody, but I thought this was cute. May I tell it? Yes. 
He said to me, why did the Pope go around Yankee Stadium twice? I said, why? He said, if he got to touch second. <laughs> <It's cute. laughs> I like the story of the Jewish stories, you know, uh, about the, uh, the fellow walked into the stage delicatessen and ordered barley and bean soup, and the Chinese waiter says, nemdished. <laughs> Which means the Jewish don't take that. So he walked up, he said, where do you get the Chinese waiter to talk Jewish? He says, don't say anything, he's in the country form, I see things, I'm teaching them English. <laughs> a lot of funny stories. I like the story about the Jewish boy uh, took his mother to see <laughs> took his mother to see that picture of Ben-Hur. In the middle of the picture, the mother moans. He said, what's the matter, Mom? She said, look at the lions eating up all the Jewish boys. He says, Mom, those aren't Jewish boys. Those are Arabs. Ten minutes later, she moans again. He says, what's the matter now, Mom? She says, look at the lion on the left. He's not eating. <laughs> I love it. Thank you, Ricky Boy. Yeah. I noticed the other night on Gleason, you played the same song that you always play here. Do you know yes. anything else besides smoke it in your eyes? <laughs> I wish Don't I you owned know Tico it. Tico or one of those? No, names? look at this ring, it's swollen. You know. oh. See, I'd like to do a song with you tonight, but I don't know if these people know that you can play piano. And if you will sit at the piano, I will sort of accompany you. We'll go I along. love it. I Is love it. it. All right. Yeah. We'll bring the piano, please. Frankie, you look great. Frankie, you look beautiful. If anything goes wrong, Frankie, just start singing, will you? Right. Give me an A, please. A, gentlemen, A. And all this. Show me the A. Is. Halloween is over. Oh. You have flying fingers. That only land on the right notes, it'd be lovely. So. <laughs> what would you like to play? I'd like to play, uh, uh, Smoke and City Rise. <laughs> Give me an A, please, A. What are you gonna do with the A? Little rhythm. Here. Here ago, I couldn't dance. <laughs> uh, e flat, all right, here we go. It's the only key I know it in. I know it. I used to play the organ, but the monkey died. Very nice. <laughs> you make me sound bad. <laughs> Sorry. I saw a music teacher at Carnegie Hall. He was outside selling chestnuts. Oh, <laughs> was he? Have very talented fingers for hitchhiking. Oh. <laughs> you make Jack Benny sound like Yasha Heifetz. Got too many laughs. Wait for me.